wrote those poems. You wrote them? Watch Taxi, weekends at 10 on Receptive Channel 9. I am not a shoplifter. You know that. You pay my bills. Just calm down, honey. Look at those salespeople. There's the one who told me to take that diamond bracelet outside to look at it in the natural light. For shame! Honey, well, As my husband, doesn't this just make you hopping mad? Yes, dear, but as your lawyer, I think we should maintain a sense of decorum. Next case. State of Wisconsin versus Victoria Springer. How does the defendant plead? Guilty, Your Honor. Oh. Women in Prison is brought to you by Duracell, the copper top battery. No battery lasts longer. And by New Chicken Little Sandwiches at most Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurants. Chicken Little's just walking down the street singing. Do what diddy, diddy, dum, diddy, do. Kentucky Fried Chicken's got my favorite thing to eat singing. Do what diddy, diddy, dum, diddy, do. Well, look good. Look good. Taste fine. Taste fine. Only 39. Kentucky Fried Chicken's new chicken little sandwiches. They cost just a little, but people love them a lot. Every day, millions of batteries die an early death. They die in flashlights, cameras, radios, simply because they lost some life waiting to be bought. But only new Duracell battery packs have a freshness state that guarantees they'll live a long life, not a short one. Freshness dating from Duracell. Do some of this, do some of that. A little bit of this and a whole lot of that. Give them all a little pet of butter. Pure, fresh, natural dairy butter. It has the same calories as margarine, just 36 per pat. Give them all a little pet of butter. When your throat's really sore, chloroseptic spray relieves it really fast. How fast? So fast that the moment he feels relief, we'll stop this commercial. Hey, Murphy. You know that job in laundry you wanted? I got it? No, I did. It's amazing what a cigarette can buy you around here. Especially when it's lit and stuck up someone's nose. <laughs> well, you're ugly. <laughs> and you walk like a man. <laughs> An ugly man. <laughs> what you should have told her is that she's got visible panty lines. <laughs> that would have got her. <laughs> I've been waiting a year for that job. If you have any problems, don't hesitate to talk to me about them. I have a very extensive background in helping women adjust to the problems of institutional life. Thank you. I'll remember that. It's okay. I'm here to help. No meat! <laughs> Look, I want 
you all to know that I don't belong here. I'm innocent. We really don't care. <laughs> there's the sink, and there's your bunk. You make any noise, we kill you. I'm beginning to see why they call it prison. What's your name, kid? Vicky. Vicky Springer. My name is Eve. It's a pretty name, don't you think? If I said no, would you hurt me? No. But I'd have it done. <laughs> so, what are you in for? For standing by my man. A debatable choice when your man is mowing down four bank guards. How awful for you. It was pretty gruesome as honeymoons go. <laughs> What's Miss Congeniality in for? Oh, she killed someone. Oh, my God. And she's here? It wasn't her, folks. He was beating her and beating her and beating her. How many beatings can a girl take in a day? Four! <laughs> Work? You still alive? <laughs> yes, but thank goodness they're leaving. I could use some time to myself. Will you get me a cup of coffee, please? <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain a little something to you about prison, dear. You're in one! <laughs> All right, felons. It's time to play Guess Your Rehabilitation. Working this week in the kitchen is Dawn! <laughs> what are you laughing at, Zsa Zsa? <laughs> Everybody works. See the warden's secretary about your work assignments. You mean I might have to cook? Don't worry, they won't put you in the kitchen yet. Newcomers get to work over by the showers. What's over by the showers? The toilets. <laughs> Keep your chin up. And I mean that. Uh, uh, you know the rules, Bonnie. No heels in the laundry. Come on, Vixter. Move it. <laughs> Second, I'm trying to find something here. A human being. <laughs> Ooh! Size seven. We could be friends, I think. I don't loan clothes, shoes, or anything with batteries. <laughs> I don't blame you. The women in here don't deserve it. Especially that Dawn. Is she? <laughs> you know. Strange. Strange? Oh, you mean gay? Yes. No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I've heard about people like that in places like this. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about Dawn. She's totally straight. Hmm. Hi, Bonnie. <sighs> <laughs> What? Hi, Mr. Rafferty. Who are you? I'm Vicki Springer. I'm new here. Did they delouse you yet? Yes, they did. Then come on in. Am I interrupting anything? Oh, nothing much. The guards want raises. The escape dogs ran away. <laughs> the prison nutritionist is on a Creole kick. Take my advice, kid. Never, ever major in hotel management. <laughs> now, what are you in for? Shoplifting. But I'm innocent, honest. It's good enough for me. Go on home. <laughs> I'm kidding! You can't, of course. Well, in that case, I have a problem, you see. I don't want to clean toilets. Look. I don't get involved in job details. Talk to Virginia. She handles work assignments. Who's Virginia? She's one of your fellow inmates. She works as my secretary. Go out and talk to her. But there's nobody out there.
secretary? It's a good bet. Even if they just winged her, she'll be out for months. I happen to be looking for a position. Can you type? No. Can you file? Not really. Can you cross your legs and show a little thigh? I can. Welcome aboard. Oh, I tell you, the laundry used to be a good job before Rafferty started that football team. Do you know it's damn near impossible to get grass stains out of a linebacker's panties? Just be thankful you don't work in the kitchen. You just stand there all day sweating and sweating into the stoop. No wonder we never run out. You know, come I never get any of the cushy jobs. I've been here three to five years. You wish upon a star. Hi, everybody. Guess what? I'm Mr. Rafferty's new secretary. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> Why do we make future shine with tough acrylic? Because we know what your floor goes through in a day. Future with clear acrylic, the tough shine. But of the Twins' first pennant drive in 17 years. Watch for their reports from the Twin Cities and Detroit every night on Primetime News. But John duty. I started there. And I started there. Oh, it was hell. I couldn't get a dinner date for weeks. <laughs> okay, it's playtime, girls. Hit the rec room. Jeez, put some clothes on, will you? <laughs> All right, that's enough. I won't have this kind of thing in my cell block. We'll finish this later. Thank you. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Uh, can you get me out of here? Well, sure, huh? Oh. My hair! She cut off my hair! Nobody but Mr. Joey has ever cut my hair! because you're stupid and obnoxious. <laughs> now, I say that not to hurt you, but to enlighten you, and more importantly, to amuse myself. <laughs> Have a nice life. Anybody? It's Dawn's. She mentioned something about it being the only thing that ever gave her comfort here. <laughs> anyway, what's up? <laughs> I'm not fitting in well. Look, the only thing a person needs to survive here is some kind of power. <laughs> You have that now. The power to do favors. I am not a sex toy. You will be. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Let me put this to you 
plainly. <laughs> you work in the assistant warden's office. You can, A, let it be known that you're willing to do favors for the other inmates, or B, relegate yourself to a nightly head buffing. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with A. <laughs> It's so logical, the way you put things. You know, I think we're going to be great friends. more in the area of the buttocks. <laughs> well, enough girl talk. <laughs> you know, now that I work for Mr. Rafferty, I can do all sorts of things for you. Great. Be a pinata at my birthday party. <laughs> okay, fine. Vicki Springer does not beg people for their friendship. Hi. You remind me of my sister. I killed my sister. Hi, I'm Vicky. Mind if I join you? Poker, right? My sorority sisters and I used to play. What do you guys bet? Fingers. I'm out. Uh, were you serious over there when you offered to do me a favor? Of course I was. Well, I got this friend, Sarah. She and me were like sisters. But she got into some trouble, and now she's here in isolation. And I heard she's being transferred to another prison next week. And you want me to make my famous onion dip for the going away party? <laughs> Shut up. Make me. Oops, sorry, reflex. What I want is for you to sign her and me passes to Rafferty's office after he leaves. That way. I could visit with her for a little while. You want me to forge two passes? You said you'd do me a favor. I was kind of hoping it'd be something that wouldn't get me flogged. <laughs> Just forget I asked. No, wait a minute, I'll do it. OK. Mr. Rafferty says he leaves at 6.30. You can meet your friend in his office at 7 o'clock, but only for a few minutes. Thanks. Maybe you are OK. This pass worked great. Hey, let's call China. <laughs> he hasn't left yet. Over here. Down. I was just looking over your files. Or as you spell them, flies. <laughs> and I believe you are innocent. Does that mean you can get me out of here? If I had any pull, you think I'd be here? <laughs> I can't promise anything, but uh, you do a good job. I'll see what I can do. Yes, sir. <sighs> Get out. <laughs> I thought we had a deal. He believes in me. He also believes we find him attractive. <laughs> I'll wait for Sarah in Rafferty's office. That way I can surprise her when she gets here. Dawn, I can't. Mr. Rafferty trusts me. Well, I trust you. I trust you to let me have a chance to see my best friend. Probably for the last time. Mr. Rafferty sent for this prisoner. Sign this. Sign my name. Okay. 
No problem. Victoria Principal. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I hope you appreciate what this act of kindness is costing me in terms of my own welfare and self-esteem. Drop dead. Eat clams out of season. <laughs> God, it's me, Vicky, the one you overlooked at the trial. <laughs> Please don't let me get caught. Please, God. <gasps> I forgot my briefcase. Mr. Rafferty, there are a couple of things I was meaning to tell you. The first is, I no longer believe in God. Okay. <laughs> what was that? That's the other thing. I let someone visit Don Murphy in your office. Who? Sir, gosh, this is the most touching story you're ever going to hear. Her name is Sarah. And Sarah? The stoolie? She's the one that handed Murphy into the police. Oh. <laughs> Guess who's back from solitary? Even hair won't grow down there. <laughs> so? How was the haul? <laughs> the first week wasn't so bad. I dusted. <laughs> the week after that was hell. Well, if it makes you feel any better, Dawn got a week in solitary herself. She got a week for attempted murder, and I got two for signing a pass? You know, I was in the hole for a month once. Of course, I was lost. <laughs> And what if I said no? You haven't said no since puberty. <laughs> I remember puberty. I voted for him twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you the lucky one? Mr. Rafferty said he's gonna give you another chance at that secretarial job. Really? But first he thought it would do you some good to snake out some bowls. <laughs> Well, all's well that ends well. Shut up. <laughs> oh, what happened to, hi, I'm Vicky. <laughs> that Vicky just spent two weeks in the hole making friends with the roaches. They may have bunny hopped across my bosoms, but at least they didn't stab me in the back. Oh, look, what do you want, an apology? I apologize. I'm on my way to snake bowls, Murphy. Somehow the words I apologize just don't sing. Well, what is it you want? I want revenge. I want an eye for an eye. I want to spit on you. <laughs> Okay. Fair is fair, you hate cleaning toilets. I hate human spittle. But if it'll make you feel better, go ahead. You really don't think I will, do you? Well, I will. Good, because I would have killed you. Well, I still hope this has been a valuable lesson to you. Did I just hear a morality play about apologies and their relation to human saliva? And based upon this, am I to assume the head shaving tonight has been canceled? Yep. God, I hate this place. <laughs> You know, it's funny. 
When I tell people I really do use Prell, they don't believe me. They think that because I'm a model, I have a bathroom full of hairdressers or See, Vern, you get 15 little mini moves in a tray. Vern, it's real half and half, and it stays fresh for weeks. And you can take mini moves with you anywhere, know what I mean? Here, try one in your coffee. Oh. Sorry, Vern. It'll be all right when the swelling goes down. Here, you can have these. <laughs> On location for the grand opening of the conservatory. Monday on Good Company. Oh, hi again. Oh, come on in. You needn't be shy. I mean, we know each other pretty well by now, right? Fact is, I'm a big believer in equal rights. So don't be surprised if I come by your house sometime and chew the fat while you're taking a bubble bath. See you out front. <laughs> People make fun of applause signs on television shows, but I think they happen to be about the greatest thing in the 20th century. I think they rate up there with pantyhose and chicken McNuggets. <laughs> really? I mean, I was just thinking that everybody ought to have their own applause sign. That way, like when you come to work in the morning, you walk in the door, the applause sign goes on and everybody gives you a big hand for just showing up. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what else? Housewives should have applause signs that light up when they put a nice dinner on the table. Wouldn't that be a nice thing? I think little kids should have applause signs. That way, when they bring home a good report card, well, they get a big hand for that. 
You know, and come to think of it, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have one in the bedroom either. <laughs> Unless, of course, some of you think that a laugh track would be more appropriate. <laughs> Real lucky to have mine. And for all you folks that don't ever get the applause that you deserve, well, here's one for you. For my active stain maker. Greasy, gross. I get all the stain lifter. Wow. All goes right to the stain and just lifts it away. A-L-L. It's the stain lifter. My mom said, gosh, your skin really looks nice. I told her I wasn't using soap anymore. Dove made the difference. Dove contains one quarter moisturizing cream. It won't dry your face like soap. Dove makes my skin feel soft, supple. I bought some for my mom. This is amazing. I could eat this new Yoplait 150 for any number of reasons. It only has 150 calories, it has no fat, and it tastes better to me than those fat yogas. But that's not it. I eat it because I want to get in tune with my body. I want to create a balance between good taste and good for you. And I'm going to get into this French leotard. Introducing Yoplait 150, the low-calorie way to taste how good yogurt can be. These are teeny weeny cows. Well, it's date night again, and you ladies hold on to your hats because this next guy is so hot, he has to wear oven mitts to put his pants on. <laughs> you know, I'm really looking forward to this date because this guy is so different, so hip and so streetwise and so cool. <laughs> Oh, don't it just amaze you how that doorbell always rings just as I'm about to finish the introduction? <laughs> Nonetheless, I must get the door. Well, Bruce Willis! Well, <laughs> uh, Adam, Miss Dolly. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're as cute as a, a, a newborn possum. <laughs> At least he looks like Bruce Willis. Uh, I come a courting and I, I brung you these hair flowers, Miss Dolly. Well, they're beautiful. You know, I have flowers growing like this out in my window box. Not anymore. Uh, why don't you have a seat and I'll arrange these beautiful flowers? Okie doke, Miss Dolly. You know, I'm a, I'm a little nervous about meeting you and all. I'm a, about as jumpy as a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. I think that weed he's chewing on is doing something to his brain. You are the Bruce Willis, a star of Moonlighting, the yep. one that just won the Emmy? Yep, yep, yep. You're as right as rain, little darling. Was your mother frightened by Ernest Tubb? Oh. Didn't work, did it? Well, I mean, I was just wondering what you're doing this cornball accent for. It's the next thing I know, you're going to be calling hogs. <laughs> no, I was saving that for the big finish, darling. Oh, you know, Bruce, if you're doing this for my benefit, you can just stop it because it's not necessary. Oh, um, I'm a little ashamed of myself now. I... Isn't this the way you court a country girl? Well, maybe on reruns of Green Acres, but not here. You see, I want you to just relax and be yourself. Why don't you just have some champagne and we'll just relax you? Well, I had to give up champagne. Seems like every time I had a glass, the police came to my house. <laughs> Is that on the cue card? Uh, no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> uh, look, I'm sorry. I, uh, this whole country boy thing, I just... I'm from New Jersey. I know you're from Tennessee. I want to have something in common with you, that's all. Oh, now, just because I'm from Tennessee and you're from New Jersey, that don't mean that people are not the same everywhere. I think boys and girls are the same everywhere. Really? Yeah, I do. Well, what was it like dating where you grew up? Well, probably the same as it was where you grew up, except that I was the one wearing the earrings. <laughs> just thought I'd throw it in. 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.